overall opinion of going out to Mayo is positive. While I didn't get like specific answers on what I was supposed to do, I got really good guidance on how I should move forward. So the main point of going out there was to see what's MS and what isn't MS. What, what can we separate it and stop lumping? So I saw urology, I saw physical medicine, PTOT, I saw gastro, I saw neuro. Moving forward this week, I plan on seeing the counselor on Monday and then also scheduling my, uh, an appointment with my primary who is the one who sent me out to Mayo and I have a list and I have tests that I want to ask for and I have uh, the new drive, the renewed drive to go figure out what the hell is going on with certain parts of my body. Um, it brought to light that I, I have to get a better bowel regimen and I'm starting that and I need to go talk to a gynecologist, um, something that I'm piecing together on my own. I don't think going to the hospital was purely uh, illness related. I have retrograde menstruation. I had it when I was a teenager and they found a, po a pool, a puddle of blood behind my uterus um, when they were doing a laparoscopy to look at a hernia. Well, it wasn't a hernia, it was a pool of blood. And I've been having this abdominal pelvic pain and it's spreading through my flanks and I don't think my back pain is all muscle. So I want to go and see if we can figure that out. Maybe, maybe there's some endometriosis that, that I can manage. I can figure out how to manage that and then maybe I will be in less pain. So I didn't get specific answers, but things like that are, are helpful. And I'm going to go have, I didn't have time to do it while I was there, but a GI transit test to see how things are going through my um, GI system and I'm going to follow up with my GI here about the balloon butt test, the, the muscle strength. So uh, essentially they test a bunch of your butt muscles and then you poop out a balloon. Um, that's the easiest way for them to simulate a bowel movement and I would like to get talking to them and find a pelvic floor specialist. So I have action items. I'm going to talk to the neurologist about Ampira and see if we can get that moving and maybe that will help with my gait. I'm just not secondary progressive, but I'm progressing in my MS. My MS is progressing. So I am Steroids aren't going to do anything for me, so I need to manage the symptoms. So I need to be better at just staying on top of things. I did get pats on the back and I was super, super pumped. My urologist, I got that under control. My PT and OT, they are amazing. And I was just, it was a waste of an appointment, but it was a good like, hey girl, hey. You stick with that PT and OT, you're doing a great job. You know what you're talking about. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased, I wish I had more time to just get it all done because now it's back to real life and I have to fit it in to my real life schedule and that's where it becomes difficult. So I'll check back when I can, when I have a moment, until then, catch you guys later.